Hi there everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is time for another match day vlog and of course it's been a long wait because of our uh, FA Cup or the FA Cup fixtures were played last weekend and obviously we weren't in it. Um, so it's been a long break uh, from football. Kind of needed it after that awful defeat against Southampton last time out. Obviously, thank you guys uh, for everyone who's watched the transfer review that I did last night on a live stream. Um, it was shocking. Uh, let's put it that way. Deadline day was not the way we all wanted it to go, but I really... It's the first time this season I'm coming to the game feeling that a little worried and, and, and not necessarily looking forward to uh, what this game will bring because I feel it's going to be, if we go 1-0 down early or if we just go 1-0 down in general today, which is very possible against this Sheffield United side, I really rate them highly what they've done this season and the way they play football. As I mentioned in my preview, go and check that out if you haven't uh, already. You'll know the result by the time this is out, but ch check out the preview anyway. Um I feel it, if we go behind in this, it's going to get toxic because of how poor the transfer window is. Um, and it's all because we're all frustrated as fans. All of us are frustrated. My hope is that it doesn't affect our support of the team. We can get frustrated at the board and at the owners or, or whoever you think it is, whoever whoever's fault you think it is. But for me, you've, I've got, we've all got to try and separate it from the football, in my opinion. So that's what I'm going to try and do today. I'm going to try and support the team, try and get behind them. Um, we On the plus side, we have got a lot of players back from injury. Um, you know, you've got Kale in the starting 11 today. You've got Ward starting. Um, Kale and Tompkins, in my opinion, is the strongest partnership we've got at centre-back at the moment. Uh, Van Arnholt back into the starting 11. Ben Teke is fit. He is starting today. So some positives there. It's, it's almost like, it's a bit of a cliche, but a bit like new signings because of how long a lot of these players have been out. Um, um, obviously, though, when you get the news of all these players back and then on deadline day, you realise we don't sign anyone when we needed a couple of signings. That obviously brings everything down a level or two. But it's almost very much typical Palace in that sense. You know, we we're always finding a way to with every high, there's a low with us. Um, and hopefully today isn't a low. The Sheffield United are a very tough opposition. This is going to be a very tough game. I'm not going to kid myself. I think I, right now, I know we've had so many draws and I need a win. But you've got respect to who you're playing at. And, you know, Sheffield United, they're starting Berg in the centre midfield. And obviously their record signing from Genk. Really, really good player. Norwood's been brilliant in the midfield as well, captain. Billy Sharp starting, which is interesting as well. And I think that he's got a point to prove. Uh, he loves he loves the club and gives everything whilst he's on the pitch. McBurney's been scoring for them, so it's let, don't get me wrong. And on top of their away form, which is absolutely unbelievable this season, this is going to be a very tough game. Um, if we get anything out of it, I think it'll be a, a good result. You've got to look at the table, look at where we're at, look at our run of form, look at Sheffield United's run of form and where they're at. You've got to take a point here, um, in my opinion. Yes, we all want to win, and yes, we need a win, but. You know, pick out your games. Pick out the games that you know you should be looking to get wins in. For me, this is one that if we can get a result, I'll take it right now. Especially because of how toxic it's probably going to be if we lose. Uh, I would just take anything other than a loss right now. Anyway, enough of me waffling. Let's get up to the game. <laughs> response after the poor deadline day. Corner now. Floated in. Oh, Henderson's it's dropped it! Oh. Lucky there was no Paris player running onto that. Well, uh, 
Mad Madley, the referee today, and he's already put bold up on the right. 17 minutes in, he's already had three fouls of will, but this time he's just pulled him back and it's a straight yellow. Um, all the threat coming for, for us anyway is coming down this left hand side of Will. Um, story of the season really. Um, another free kick now in a dangerous area. It's good, it's good. Just looking for that good ball and not trying to get someone running onto it now. Henderson's been coming out and claiming a lot of these. But it's a really good start. Chance here, Benteke. Will, there's a good chance here. Oh, Will. Lay it off, who's there? Still Will in the box. Luca, oh, comes to the edge of the box on the Kieran's Luca skies it. Good hold up play from Will there, better. Go on, are you? Yes, it's a key to it. Oh, side there too. What a move. Great run from Ayu from in his own half, just driving at the defence. Nice little through ball. Benteke onto his left foot, it's quite a tight angle, but misses the target, hits the side net, and you've got to get it on target, test the keeper there, surely. 25 minutes, big chance, first big chance, gone begging. Well, we had a great ball in, a great ball in from Ayu there on the right, and Benteke's about five yards behind Kaede, he's got to be there for the cutback. That's my main criticism so far of Benteke, I know he's been off with an injury, I know he's just come back into the team, but... It's so slow and he's not there with it. He's not getting in the box, he's hiding. It feels like he's hiding and that's been the story of his time the last few seasons at Palace. Um, it sums it up really. <laughs> he has to be off! Ref! He's gonna bottle it! The ref's gonna bottle it! How's that not a second yellow? Madly, you a bottle job! Just been taken out as a hard line, hold off again and Madly's bottling this! has to be a second yellow! 35 minutes in, all the players swarm the ref. How is that not a second yellow? Unbelievable. <laughs> Just taking him clean out! Zara's making a run into the box. He's got to be given a second yellow! Tompkins gets booked for bugger all down here. Joke! Joke! Will absolutely skinned in there. Go on! Yes! Oh, what a block! Will Scott on toast down his left hand side. Benteke there, really good chest from the goal kick. And palmed, uh, laid it off to him. When Benteke doesn't have to move, he's been brilliant. Whenever he's had to do a job and run and get on the end of balls and start making runs, he's been really poor. That's his game. He's got a hold up play when he doesn't have to move. He's been very good this half, but everything else has been poor. Half time here at Sirs Park is Palace nil, Sheffield United nil. And to be honest, very promising. Well, I say very promising, but much better half. Promising half from us, I'd say. Uh, we've had most of the ball, and we've. Yes, we are quite frustrating. There's been a number of times where we could have gone broken away quickly and looked to damage them with a counter attack. And we, like always, the story of the season, we get to around the halfway mark, slow it all down, and then pass it backwards and start building up from the back and start going quicker from the back when all of the opposition players are back here, uh, defending behind the ball. That's been very frustrating for me. Looking at the scores, Bournemouth 2-0 up against Villa. Wow. Watford winning. West Ham winning as well. There's a lot of uh, results there that go, will be bad for us if we lose. Uh, but, you know, overall, though, it's been a good half. Most of the ball, we've had a number of chances that not necessarily at goal but getting into good areas down the left hand side I have to say has been our main area of attack it always is with Will but this has been one of Will's best games um, I'd say in the last month or two really he's been on, got balled off on toes balled up with a yellow card early on then somehow madly he's absolutely bottled it he, balled up takes out Will Will literally if he gets past balled up is running into the box ready to do a cutback and he gets taken out no second yellow big bottle job there I have to say he bottled it um, overall though you know Benteke is doing okay when he doesn't have to move the ball his hold up play in terms of flicking flick ons and actually getting the ball into his chest and laying it off has been quite good the problem comes from we're getting into good advanced areas he's nowhere to be seen he's too far behind play not getting on the end of crosses he always seems to be a little slow and at times hiding he doesn't really want to show for passes on the deck uh, that's what it comes across as for me and it's very frustrating because there's been times where we've got great balls in or getting in good areas and he's nowhere to be seen he's our centre forward he's got to be the furthest man forward 
Um, but overall, I think that Savi and I, to be fair, are there for the taking right now. They're not playing very well. I don't think Wild will be happy with this performance from them. They've hardly had anything on the ball, really. We've had most of the ball, not done anything with it, but we've had most of the ball. Sheffield United, we haven't tested our uh, great at all. It's been comfortable for him. It's there for the taking if we want it. It's all about whether we have the, you know, the will and the desire now to go get that opening goal. It's the opening goal here will be, you know, whoever gets it, I think we're going to win the game. So, promising half, much better than Southampton. That week break seems to have helped, and the new players coming to the squad, you know, refreshing the squad, getting some of these players back fit, look like, looks like it's helped. What a ball from Will! But to Kate, yes! Oh, he hits it, he hits it. Cuts in on his left, gets the strike off. Comfortable, comfortable save Anderson, not enough on that. Lovely counter attack though, direct, much better on the counter attack. We didn't see much, enough of that in the first half. Lovely little run and ball from Will. Link up there is really good. He it in the middle. Corner from Sheffield United, whipped in and it Greater drops it and ends up catching it in the net. That they've done nothing. The whole game they've done nothing. So frustrating. Oh, it's so typical of us. Wow, great little cutback from Will MacArthur. Good save from Henderson. It was he read it, he moved across and it was an uncomfortable save in the end, but he well read. Good response from the goal here. I'm still at half an hour to play. Go on, Ayu! Cut it! Corner! Corner ball! Man! Man, what is he smoking? Madly's just sent to a ward off. So 50 50 just sent him off. So you're not giving a second yellow to Baldock first half, but that's a straight red. You could do one red! Well, Madly's checking the screen. The bar's obviously told him to take a look. And he's right in front of all the Palace fans in the art. Uh, the other way he's getting a lot of stick down there for obvious reasons i wouldn't be surprised if he sticks with his decision really here we go let's see what he does here he's taking a long jog back this is a joke it's a joke i don't even feel like we're gonna get back in this at the moment you're a joke ref you're a joke you're a joke he's turned it into a yellow card it doesn't matter he's a joke the fact he's given a straight run in the first place is a joke Idiot. It makes me more angry that he's got it wrong. It makes me more angry. Let's look at a replay. Doesn't even make contact. It's a joke. It's a joke. Come on, Townsend. Go on, Max. Are you? Oh, who are you trying to pick out there? Why aren't we shooting there? Chance to whip it in. We've all found that injury time about to come up. We've done absolutely nothing in the last 10 minutes. Nothing. It's been completely dead. <laughs> Six minutes added on. Jeez, what are we going to do with it? Oh, that's the question. 